All right, I just finished gluing these squares on. Um, when you get your paper and you get your um, squares, you need to glue them on sort of in like a color wheel circle. So that's what I've done here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Write your name and your class ID on the corner somewhere here. And then you're gonna pick a spot in the middle of the paper somewhere. It doesn't have to be the exact center, just close is good enough. Um, so this is for the one point perspective um, drawing. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a ruler and a pencil, and this is called your vanishing point. Whenever you're doing a perspective drawing, making something look 3D on a flat surface, um, you can use perspective to help you gain um, a 3D look, okay? So once you have all of these attached, mine are still gluing or still drying, as you can see the glue's kind of like really wet and coming through this paper, you're gonna take the closest corners that would not cut through the box. So if you were starting here, this would cut through the red box to go to the um, vanishing point, okay? This is called the vanishing point. You will need to take just the corners that go through to the vanishing point without cutting through anything else. So you'll just start your ruler on the vanishing point, line it up with this corner so you can get your pencil in there and just draw it straight back to the vanishing point. Stop when you get there. Always make sure that when you're using your ruler, you get the ruler lined up first before you start drawing. Secondly, you wanna make sure you're holding it down well. So I always spread my fingers out a little bit and then draw to your corner or to the vanishing point from the corner, whichever works for you. It doesn't matter which way you go, but always line it up first, hold it tight, then draw. Okay, so now you're seeing that it's kind of giving you the illusion of the side of this box, all right? And then you're gonna do that to every single one. Sometimes if it's lined up with the vanishing point on a flat edge here, like my orange one happens to be, you're only going to probably have two corners to take to the vanishing point. So you would only take this one and this one. And not this one because again, it would line up and cut through the box. You don't want it to cutting through the box. So if it would go through there, don't do that. So you're gonna go ahead and complete all six boxes to the vanishing point and then I'll show you the next step. All right, so I have all of the lines drawn to the vanishing point and the, really the next step is just to be, make this more believable that it's not just flat. And so you're gonna take like colored pencils or um, color sticks or crayons or whatever you wanna shade with, but you would wanna start up here on this end closest to the box and I just picked a green. This isn't probably the best match. It's more of a blue green, but anyway, it'll be all right. And I'm going to shade up here closest to this edge of the box, the darkest. As things go back into space, they tend to get lighter or foggier. It's called atmospheric um, perspective. And so it will get a little lighter as it goes back towards the vanishing point. So I'm just not putting as much pressure on my pencil and I'm trying to shade from dark to light towards the vanishing point. Remember you can change the direction of the way you're coloring to add another layer on and darken it up some. And then if you have like a line like I do here where I can still see that sort of where I got lighter again, I'm just gonna go back and kind of blend it in with another layer of a little medium more than dark layering right now to try to kind of blend that in a little more so it isn't quite an abrupt change. Okay, so now you can see that sort of is starting to give the illusion that that is coming out towards you, okay? So you just pick your color compared to your box there and you just shade it in. If you have two sides, like let's say this blue one over here, let me find a color pencil, blue. Um, do the same thing, still start with the dark up here. This one's a little bit shorter, not quite as long to the vanishing point, so I have less space to really color in dark to light, which can be a little trickier, but you can still do it. It's just, you gotta be a little careful and take your time there and think about not doing too much space dark. And then again on this side, 
Okay, and then you'll just keep working your way around, making your one point perspective boxes. If you would like to finish up by adding designs in and around the um, boxes, you can. Um, like in between, I mean, or around the boxes here, then you can. Or you can just finish it up like this. 